Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking a look at whether Armored Core 9 Breaker is playable with BCSX2 within Retroarch. Now, you probably know what I'm gonna say. Considering every other Armored Core game has not been great at all, <laughs> performance wise, I have a bad feeling that this is gonna be more of the same. Maybe. You know, this one might be the standout. Completely knocks it out of the park. Full speed and everything. But I really doubt it. I think the closest we've gotten to full speed on an Armored Core game was Armored Core 2. Yeah. I, I think... Did I deem Armored Core 2 playable? I don't remember. <laughs> New game. I may have, because I'm pretty sure it was actually fairly decent. The one where you started off on, like, a highway. I have to put me in my name. Alright. I, I, P. Alright, I have to go to end. Right, so, moment of truth. I mean, this could be one of those things where it's crap in cutscenes, but fine in gameplay. Or the opposite, it's fine in cutscenes and crap in gameplay. You would prefer it to be crap in cutscenes and fine in gameplay, because at least then it's kind of playable. Carriage. Oh, I don't like it. It's already dipping. Training. Access the arena. Access the game menu. Test match. Official battle. Wait, what about training? Attack, defense. I don't really want to do training. Sure, I'll just do this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Searching. There we go. We did it. We did it. I don't remember if this game has any sort of, like, story component. I think it might quite literally just be... Kind of like a fighting game. In the sense of... No! Well, there we go. Oh, this is, like, the worst. Yeah, we gotta lock on. How do I switch weapons? Ah, there we go. Well, makes it easy, at least. Kinda wish I could tell what their health was at. Come on, target lock. Oh my god, it's so bad. You know it's bad when you can't understand anything that's happening. That went, like, right in the water. AP at 50%. Oh my god, it smooths out when you're... Oh, never mind. It smooths out when you're boosting backwards. How the hell does that work? Let's see. Yeah, look at that. What? That is possibly the most bizarre... ...behaviour I've ever come across. On a game. By a long shot. The game completely smooths out when you're boosting backwards. What about if I just move backwards? Now you have to be boosting. That's so weird. Now let's just do it again. What the hell? <laughs> oh, that makes no sense. I will quit versus actually, because then at least frame rate will go to normal. God. That is so weird. Absolutely. Like, I don't understand how that even works. When you're boosting backwards, and only backwards, the frame rate goes back to full speed. Somehow. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. How weird. Oh well. I mean, the, the, uh, the answer is pretty obvious. Armored Core Ninebreaker is not playable. And that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please like the video, subscribe for more, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.